This week's video. If you are new here, hi, thank you for stopping by and if you want, click the subscribe button to see more of me. If you are a returning subscriber of mine, thank you for coming back and I love you. So as you can tell by the title, we're doing a chit chat get ready with me, but I'm going to be like playing with makeup so it's going to fall under the let's play with makeup playlist. So anywho, um, I do feel like I repeat myself a lot when I'm doing these get ready with me because a lot of the products I use are the same. That's okay. Um, because if you are new here or you missed the last one, then uh, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to prime my skin with Collections Primed and Ready. This is in the color Warm Apricot. You can use it as a foundation or as a primer, just whatever you want. Like a foundation as in it's a very light coverage, like a, just like a BB cream or something. It says it's reviving and anti-fatigue and I can't, I can't explain it. Like, I wouldn't say I'm terrible at explaining things, but it's definitely like... It's like, oh, I don't know, it's a very refreshing moisturizer. Like, some moisturizers feel like real heavy, this just feels like real light, and ah, oh, I don't know, it's hard, yeah, hard to explain. Try it for yourself. But definitely, it feels like you're waking yourself up, like a nice, clean morning face wash sort of thing, like a very nice, light moisturizer. It's just got a slight, slight tint to it, so you could definitely wear it as a BB cream or whatever. But I'm using it as a primer. So yeah, it says you can use with or without foundation, so whatever you want to do. So the foundation I'm going to use today, I might change it up a bit for myself. I'm going to use the CoverGirl. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous because we're doing like, I don't know, we're going into summer here in New Zealand and I don't know, I want to be luminous. Oh, it does use the pump. So I'm going to use a couple pumps there. Yeah. Okay, that's probably quite a bit. Stippling brush to spread that around. So, anywho, um, <laughs> it is the 2nd of November today. We just had our Halloween here in New Zealand. Not that we do much. Oh my god, look at that. Not that we do much for Halloween in New Zealand. Like, I think there's some things that, like, kindergartens and all that stuff, like, do. But it's not like, like, we got, I got one trick-or-treater. Well, two if you include a sister that, like, chaperoned him. <laughs> But yeah, and it was like, uh, I was kind of, you know, looking forward to more this year and, you know, being on YouTube and stuff. You know, I just felt like more involved in, I'm going to have to bring that down because there's no way that's matching. But I just felt like more involved in, into Halloween this year just because, I don't know, on YouTube. So that's a very yellowy foundation. I'm looking very pink probably because I just got some sun. Maybe I could try this. Okay, so I got this LA Girl pro coverage. Maybe we should use that to try and tone it down. Let's just see how it goes. I've only used this once. And I got it to sort of like help colour match people. <laughs> that looks so strange. Sort of almost like a whitey, just a white foundation. It should help like illuminate things up a wee bit as well. Okay, I'm just going to use my flat top brush to blend it all in. Oh, actually, no. I got a new beauty blender off AliExpress. Look how big it is! It was when it was not wet. Um, it was like this big. It was like, pow! I was like, oh! Anyway, so I've wet it, so I just forgot that's what I wanted to use today. The first impression. Oh, I like it. Looks a lot like the Real Techniques one. You can pick your colours. It was like blue, blue, this colour, and I want to say orange, but I'm not sure. That's a lot better. Anywho, so I had my trick-or-treaters come around. I just thought I'd share my embarrassing story with you. I was going to share it on Snapchat and I was just like, no, I share everything on Snapchat. Let's just like leave something for just YouTube. So out of the one, one trick-or-treater that I got, using the Wet n Wild concealer here in the shade Fair, I think it is, Light Ivory. Um, yeah. Okay, so Chris bought some candy. He bought the shit candy. I was just like, what is this? You know, those real shitty the hard candies but it got you got some lollipops in them and the lollipops were like so good so I was eating all the lollipops out of the bowl of candies 
and it was the lollipops that have chewing gum inside them. <laughs> anyway, I had uh, eaten a fair few lollipops and the chewing gum I'm not that fussed on so I just like wrapped it around the stick the lollipop stick when I was finished and um, Ava wanted to play with it and I was just like, whatever. So Ava was playing with it, whatever, and then I got a doorbell and I was like, oh Chris, it's the trick or treaters. So I jumped up, grabbed the bowl of the lollies and I took them to the door and I was like, oh, and he was the wee boy from next door and he was dressed up as Dracula, but I was just like, what are you? You just look like you're in fancy dress. Are you not dressing up this year? And he's like, no, I'm all caped in the wash. Anyway, that was cool. I was just like, oh, have all the lollipops. I was like, take take more lollipops because I'll just eat them all. And he was like, okay. And I was like, sweet. Anyway, his sister was with him and she was nice enough. And <laughs> I continued my night as per normal. And I walked past a mirror and I was like, what's that? And there was my lollipop stick stuck to right there on my shirt, stuck to my top. I was like, ugh. <laughs> Why does embarrassing stuff always happen to me? I was telling Chris's parents about it and they were just like, mmm, yeah, eating all the lollipops. Yes, you were. Yes, that works. Why does embarrassing stuff always happen to me? No, that wasn't that embarrassed because it was like just little kids, but... <sighs> eating all your candy is really obvious. Wow, I really like applying with this. It feels so nice. I just want to keep dabbing. Collections Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder. Loving on this stuff at the moment. I've been using it like twice, twice to set this down and then once I've set, put my highlighter on and everything I set it down again. Okay, for contour, I have been loving this LA Girl Pro Contour Powder. I don't know what shade it is, I think it's natural, but anywho. Using one of these little AliExpress brushes, I'm just going to apply this to the contour area. It's such a natural contour, it's not orangey, it's nice and cool. Oh. I love it. So something that's been like annoying me lately and I just like feel like I need to get it off my chest otherwise it'll eat me whole. Ugh. It's those people that go and me and Adrienne have talked about this before um, on Snapchat and we agree and I think she's actually doing a video on it soon or she's done it and she just needs to upload it but uh, she needs to upload it fast. People that sub for sub what is the point? One, what is the point? And two, they just sub for a sub so that you sub to them and then they unsub from you. Oh, I have watched my number has been sitting at 313 for like a good month and it's not budging. And then I get like, oh, I'll do a sub for sub. I'm like, okay, cool, you know. And then it goes up to like 315, so say, I get the one subscriber 314, and then it goes back down because they've unsubscribed after like a week of being subscribed. I'm just like, well, what's the point? Like, if you don't like my content, don't even offer a sub for sub. I just, I uh, don't understand. And it is really frustrating because like a good five or six have done it now. So if you are watching this and you're thinking, oh, what's up, what's up, don't bother asking me. I'm sorry if that sounds harsh. Like, sure, if you're genuine, then cool. But there's always someone that has to ruin it for someone else. Am I right? And there's people out there ruining it for you. It's just really shitty. And then you get the people that just subscribe for giveaways which I can kind of like relate to but then I'm also just like don't enter the giveaway if you don't like who I am I'd rather give it to someone that you know enjoys my stuff and knows me Ugh. but then in saying that if you are subscribed to me thank you very very much right so with this you get the highlight obviously as well so you're probably thinking oh my god she looks a bit cracker and you're probably right Ava has stolen all my brushes I swear. I'm gonna have to use the same brush because I had another one like this, but she's still okay. So I'm getting that highlighting and I'm just gonna go in the highlighting areas. And also another thing, <laughs> just while I'm whinging, the people that comment on bigger YouTubers videos saying, oh I've got a YouTube channel, come subscribe to me, blah blah blah, like that's all good and well, but like I still feel like if people wanted to watch you, they would. I personally don't do that. I mean, sometimes I'll comment 
on um, a bigger YouTube, like I'll be looking through their comments anyway because I like them and I watch them. Um, and if someone says something like, oh, I love New Zealanders or something, I'll just be like, hey, I'm a New Zealander and I also have a channel or something like that. But I'm just not like comment on their video and be like, hey, any small YouTubers want to support each other? It's like, you're just going to unsubscribe. Everyone's out for their bloody selves. So it's just a shame that people are out there to ruin it. So. So probably I'm just gonna get a little bit of Australis banana powder and just lash up. I'm gonna use a different one because I always use my sleek. If you guys watch me, you know I always use a sleek blusher. This one is from Hello Banana, I think, or some two dollar shop, and it's actually really pigmented. I don't know what that label is, but you can try and I don't know screenshot that and read for yourselves but I can't read that it is probably some like Japanese Chinese word so and for highlight today I'm going to be using collections speedy highlight now they have sent me more of these so I can do a wee giveaway so when I get to 500 subscribers I'm going to be doing a massive giveaway um, so if you want to help me get there then please just subscribe and go follow my Instagram um, for a chance to get entered. So I'm just going to lightly... This, you so don't need much at all. Like, look at that. I'm just lightly rubbing it on. Like, you can just draw it on, but I'm trying not to disturb the makeup underneath. So I'm just going to use my finger to blend that in. Up cheekbone, chin, and forehead highlight. Recommend, hands down. And it's called Pearl, and so I've got this little pearl thing going on at the moment. So yeah, that is Pearl Sheen, and I'm just like, ugh. All right, so I'm gonna set that down with the Invisible like, Translucent Collections Powder. So it doesn't budge. Nose highlight, I will use the Carly Pearl on my nose, yeah. Chi Chi Brow, until I get different brow stuff, this is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Warm Br Warm Blonde, just so it's a bit more natural than the dark brown, although I do love a good bold brow, so when I do bold brows, that's what I use. such a great palette I don't know how many times I bloody pull it out um, so in the tail I use this dark brown for the outer tail and then in closer to my in here I use a light so that's sort of like a warm blonde the eyes the nipples of the face I want to get experimental up in here I don't know what to do but I've got a few new palettes this one off AliExpress which to me looks like like a Morphe but with no Morphe label on it um, and these are the colours here, they're so freaking beautiful and different, diverse, you know. I've got the Jack Jacqueline Hill palette, um, and they're lots of different colours as well. And then I just got this one off AliExpress, and these are, oh, more colours again. And they're really, really, like, really, really pigmented, so I'll swatch that one there for you. And, and, ooh. Girl, um, how about the purple? <gasps> My brushes are quite dirty. I'm just gonna apply this nice creamy color as our base. I've got to keep reminding myself, like, you can build love. It just doesn't need to be like Ugh, straight away. I'm just like, oh, it does. So I actually have a girl coming for makeup this Saturday, and she wants something like this. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh, this looks fun. God, I don't know if I've got the talent to represent, like, recreate that. That is gorgeous. Should we give it a go? Okay, we're going to go with something like this. This is it here. Maybe I should just, I'll give it my best, okay? So, it's very metallic-y. Mmm. Okay, so we've got a light purple. Let's get into the colours here, okay? I feel like I'm backing out already. It's a very pale purple, so I'm going to go for this one here in the crease, because she's done like a cut crease. 
Oh yeah, that's close enough. Hers is so popping. Holy shiitake. Comes quite a wee bit out here. She's got a bit of a wing going on. Maybe this is going to have to go into Instagram series now. Okay, so we've got this purple thing. And then she's got it cut. Although she's got a very, very highlighted brow bone. So shall we go with that? So she's got like a very white highlighted brow bone. So going in with the Kali Bible white right here. Oh girl. Whew. What's helping that pop is the Collections Pearl Sheen underneath. Oh my god, another wee layer of that purple and like mix, mix that one with this one just to make it a bit deeper, I don't know. Oh yeah, go on with that. Lasting Perfections 16 hour wear concealer is great. It really does cover a whole lot. Get that down with Collections, Primed and Ready. Transparent powder. In a corner she's got purple, gold, and then out to that turquoise blue. So let's give that a go on this eye. Shimmery purple here. I don't know how to make that more metallic -y. Then we've got a gold, so I'm going to use this gold here in the same palette. I will have this palette linked down below. I'm really going to dig in there. And then that turquoisey blue. Now, I have the perfect one in the fake Jaclyn Hill palette. Is that turquoise blue right there but that blue that I swatched at the start of the video is practically the same so I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'll try oh god yeah so just going over top and re-intensifying them oh yeah hers is so way prettier <laughs> and she has like a Silver liner. So she has like a silver liner and a extra. She's got the meanest lashes and a poppin' in a corner. So I'm gonna do the silver eyeliner. Right, I'm gonna do a dramatic wing now. Right on her lower lash line. I can't tell. Looks blue. Ugh. I'll just wing it. Poppin' in a corner, coming right along with the curly Bible. Getting that white again for the inner corner. Right, I'm changing the eyeliner to this one that I got from Hello, um, Hello Banana. It's Jordana's. I'm gonna mimic this eye and then I'm gonna put some false eyelashes on and um, then we'll come back and we'll talk about some lippy, alright? Okay guys, I'm back. Anyway, these lashes are just from AliExpress and I'll have a link below. So we use the row here um, and they're just like thin on the inside and then they flare out. So yeah, I've done my best. It's like a unicorn-y fun thing. Mine is like, oh my god, like a kid's done it compared to hers. Oh, I tried, I swear. Um, so she's got like this purpley highlight on. So we're going to give that a go. Um, and I thought... Perfect because Kali Bible has this nice purpley reflecting one here and I do enjoy this highlight, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna pound that on. Mm -mm. Oh my god, I've hit pan. <gasps> ah, can you see that? That is pan guys, pan. So we're pumping the highlight. Oh I forgot in a corner, that's what it was. Oh we are glowing. The glow up is real. Mm -mm. Okay now she's got this cute little purple pale purpley lip going on. How have I done? Have I done like I feel like I need the Instagram brows. I've done like a natural brow. I need like an intense brow. I'm gonna go with this for starters. It's Miss Rose 38 Hana. 
Oh, I love how our lip ties are looked together. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, it snapped. Oh, you nasty piece of lippy. Oh, it might be able to still get it out. <laughs> well, I'll be buying another one of those. Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna use Shannon Harris's purple there, quite bright. my lips for sure. For the sake of the video I'm going to add this glitter. This is an eyeliner but I used the blue on my lips for Halloween look the other day and it was pretty cool. Cute. I'm just going to darken up my eyebrows because I feel like for this look they need to be darker because we've gone for like an Instagram inspired look. Okay, so I'm just sort of re-intensifying everything, like the contour and everything. Because I ended up going with an Instagram look, I need to really amp everything up because what was going to be natural turned into this. I'm just going to fix my hair and I'll be right back. Would you please stay tonight? Okay, if what you want is a breakup All I really care is that you're here when I wake up Would you please stay tonight? Oh. So there's the finished look guys I really hope you liked that video If you did, you know what to do Leave a big thumbs up And if you want to see more of me Hit subscribe in the corner there if you haven't already It means the world to me I have a goal of 400 subscribers before the year is out and I'm doing a humongous giveaway at 500 subs. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, I really hope you liked that one. If you did, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought, and um, yeah, I will see you all, <laughs> I will stare myself in the eye, I will see you all in next week's video. <laughs> Bye guys! Mwah.